Well, the, what is the Western Shepherd? Uh, well, let me try to give you a brief explanation of why we did what we, why I did what I did, and what it turned into. The the German Shepherd for since 1890 has been, you know, the ultimate in working dogs and wonderful companions. Uh, starting with von Horath, that uh, Max von Stefanitz was his main stud dog. You know, this was an athletic dog that he created, squared him up, made him capable of, of movement that hadn't been seen in a lot of the herding breeds at that time. So we were looking to go back to that, to go back to that good form, that athletic form that uh, Von Horath had. The other thing I was looking for, of course, is, is healthy, uh, healthy hips. Because unfortunately, today, you know, breeders are trying to sell puppies as fast as they can, and uh, they don't always look to those little things. But those little things are more important than anything, any big thing you can name. So we wanted to work with excellent hips. We wanted to go back to an athletic form. We wanted a dog that was truly devoted and wanting, wanting to work with the owner. You know, and, and the original standard of the of the shepherd calls them to be aloof to strangers and devoted to the owner. So all of these things we tried to combine. And after six years of combining all the working shepherd breeds and, and some one or two outside breeds, just when I was about to give up and quit, I knew what I wanted, I knew my standard, and then boom, here comes Black Bart. And he was more than I had ever dreamed of in his creation. His form is perfect for true athleticism. He has, the, I knew that I wanted an 85 to 100 pound male. Bart Lean will be 104, 105. He doesn't shed. So this is brushing my German Shepherd. Third day in a row. Now we've got our Western Shepherd, and most of the hair you see coming out of the most dogs is undercoat, which Shepherds have in abundance. Uh, but let's see how our Western Shepherds do. We're breeding them intentionally without an undercoat. Bart, this is our main stud. This is Black Bart, so I brush him, and I brush, and I get down here where most of the hairs come out, and I get this much hair versus the 17 Chihuahuas I shed off of the standard German Shepherd. And again, I'm gonna brush and brush. I'm gonna get down here where most of the hairs break loose. And this is Bart's first brushing of the spring. And that's great. That's what our Western lifestyle looks for. We. A protection security dog should be able to go with you anywhere you go. And not only should he be, he be well behaved, he should not be leaving hair behind to remind the people that you were there. <laughs> so we kind of got all that in one package when we got Bart. And fortunately, we've been able to reproduce. He throws himself every time he has pups. So this is a dog uniquely fitted to the Western lifestyle. Extremely athletic, powerful, capable of stopping the biggest man that you can find and yet great with kids, extremely gentle, and just a pleasure to be around. So watch some of our clips, and if you get interested in these Western Shepherds, give me a call, I'd love to talk about them. <laughs> it's hard to yeah, do something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, he's just a fast, really fast dog. Yeah. Um, He's not easy to cheat. He's not. I got my competition here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, and if you like more information on the Western Shepherd, if you just want to keep up with what we're doing as we develop this program, remember, this is, this is developing right here in America. This is, this is a project, ongoing project. You can be a part of it. Just, you know, like, share, subscribe, go to us on the Western Shepherd Facebook page. Uh, go to Capel Canine on YouTube. 
and and watch as we develop this breed watch and see if we can actually do something that uh, may have not been done in the last 200 years um, like share subscribe give us a comment ask any questions you got and if please follow our western shepherds and let us know what you think as we go